Hey guys, let me just put you on my box. <laughs> my trusty filming box, right? So you guys can see me. Sorry for the ugly background, the trash and stuff, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like sitting on that little stool. <laughs> I feel like being a little bit comfortable. Um, so this is what you're gonna get. Hopefully this is a good, a good angle. <laughs> um, so my hair is so weird today. Like, so yeah, I just literally did nothing with it. I blue dry, I blue dried it, blow dried it, and it just kind of gets frizzy. So, <clears throat> but this is day old hair. Yesterday I did this. I washed it yesterday. So I sprayed some um, dry shampoo in it, and it's like kind of like like dusty looking <laughs> because of the dry shampoo, but whatever. So anyways, um, that's just what, that's just what I'm going to be playing with today as far as the hair goes. No, no cute hair today. I just wasn't in the mood to curl it and I don't have a straightener right now because my straightener literally like died on me a month or two ago and I forgot all about it. <coughs> so I need to buy myself a new straightener because, um, Actually, well, I don't know, we'll see. I don't straighten my hair as much as I used to. I used to straighten it almost every day. Um, but I've really been into curling my hair, so I may not even need to get a straightener, but we'll see. Um, coffee. So I'm gonna probably be munching while I'm talking to you guys. Um, I just finished an egg, so I made an egg over hard, and I just ate that because that's kind of messy and I really didn't wanna get ketchup and stuff on my Christmas sweater. Um, so, so yeah, but I have a, a pastry here that I wanna eat because it's gonna go bad after today and I know my husband won't eat it because he had Pop-Tarts this morning. Um, so rather than being wasteful, let's just eat it. Um, so I had a really, really, really good morning. Um, so my husband's been doing the, the graveyard shifts. So usually he gets home around 7.30ish. And I try to have breakfast ready for him when he gets home so that he can eat. And then he literally showers and knocks out. And he's knocked out till about one, two, three o'clock. He tries not to sleep past three um, in the afternoon because he has to do his report writing and like he wants to feel like he has somewhat of a day. And so when he comes home early in the morning, my ass is up early in the morning cooking breakfast and usually because I don't wanna to have to cook twice, um, I'll sit and eat breakfast with him at 7.30 in the morning, which for me, technically, sorry, that's what that noise is, it's the chair. Um, for me, um, eating breakfast at 7.30 7 in the morning is early. That's too early for me. I like to eat like right now, which is, it's close to 10. I like to eat later because my shift at work starts at one. And so I like to eat a late breakfast so I can skip lunch and then just eat something for an early, like a, like a late, late lunch, early dinner kind of thing to get me through work. Um, and so that's why I do that. <laughs> But the literally the last like two, three weeks since he's been on his graveyard shift, I've been eating breakfast early. So usually like by 10, 11, I'm hungry again and I'm craving lunch and it's like, I'm on my way to work and I'm like wanting lunch. So I'm not used to doing that. I don't like to, I like you, like if I skip a meal, it's usually lunch um, and then I'll have dinner. My bra, everything's all lumpy. Um, <laughs> usually if I skip a meal, it's gonna be lunch that I skip and then I'll eat dinner. But with his new schedule and me being up earlier than I'm usual, like usual and cooking and stuff, it's just not, it's just not working out that way. <laughs> so today was nice because he had a training day today, which means he had to be at the office by eight and he gets off at five. So it's kind of nice because when I get home from work, he'll be home. Um, but that meant that he was out of the house. Literally, he left, I think he left here about seven. And um, I literally stayed in bed because 
I knew I wasn't washing my hair this morning. So I stayed in bed till like close to nine. <laughs> and it was just, I was browsing the internet. I was looking on YouTube. I was answering like comments. I had some DMs in my, in my Instagram. Um, so I was able to like do the things that I usually would do in my morning. Like I felt like I was having a taste of my, my, my usual routine and it was really nice. So, um, I feel more energized because I had my like hour, two hours of just bullshit, like just do whatever I want in the morning. And then I made my breakfast. So <laughs> it worked out nice. I have, I'm wearing, um, my aquamarine bracelet today because I need the patience. So my aquamarine, like aquamarine crystal is really good for like reducing anxiety. It's really good for calming your emotions and whatnot. So I was like, today feels like an aquamarine kind of a day. <laughs> so I threw the bracelet on. That's what, that's what that is. Um, and then I'm wearing my Christmas sweater today because sorry, you guys, those of you who are my coworkers, if you're watching this, um, I will not be attending the Christmas party tomorrow. Um, I know, I know. <laughs> Sorry guys. I'm pretty sure you had an idea. You had a feeling though, because I, <laughs> there's just, there's just so much anxiety going through me about this stupid Christmas party. And I've already voiced it to, to like one of you, I think one or two of you. But um, basically is at my work, we're closing. So the library is closing early. Literally, the library is only going to be open from 1 to 3.30. So two and a half hours. We're closing early. And then um, we go we're go so that we could attend the citywide, like the city Christmas party for all of the employees, the city employees. And, um, and the Christmas party is like two hours, I think. It's like from four to six or something. So if we attend, then we get paid, right? Um, and, <laughs> and normally I would do this. Like normally I would go if I was living closer to work. Um, but because I'm driving so far, I just can't see the point in driving to get literally two and a half hours of work time in. And then going to a Christmas party that I really don't, I really don't want to go to. Like, I'm not going to know anybody except for my coworkers. And then it's just a lot of people and it's just not, I just don't, I'm, I'm really weird about those kind of things, you guys. Like, so that's something about me that you will learn. Um, I have, I get anxiety over thinking about going somewhere I've never been. Um, I get anxiety when I have to attend um, big groups of where there's like a lot of people it just makes me very on edge um, and I and especially if I don't have like my partner in crime aka my husband with me or you know just uh, you know what I mean like if I feel like it's like <laughs> if I don't have him with me I just feel overwhelmed because he really grounds me and um, and I don't want to put that kind of obligation or that kind of like responsibility onto someone else like my coworkers, um, I don't want them to feel like they have to, you know, babysit me. And I, that's just like the worst thing ever. So I would never do that to anybody or I never want to do that to anyone. So, um, I just don't really don't want to go and Hey stars. Um, and I feel like it's also because I'm, I'm not going to be working there very long for much longer. Like there's only a few more days of work for me left. Um, I just don't see a point. And so <laughs> I'd rather save gas. Um, I'd rather save gas and sanity and anxiety time and <laughs> and just not go. So, um, so I won't be there. I won't be there tomorrow. And to me, it's like it's better that it's better that if if there's gonna be a day that I'm just gonna skip out on work, it's probably that day because there's only two and a half hours of literal work time so my absence won't be a pain in the ass for everybody else <laughs> but there's that and I was going back and forth about it and I was talking to my husband about it and he was just like babe just don't go I wouldn't go there's no point there's no point in driving an hour to be at work for two and a half hours and then to go to a Christmas party and then by the time the Christmas party is done what by six traffic is still shit at that time um because usually I'd get off work at seven 
And seven o'clock is way better with traffic than it is at six. And even if I wanted to skip out on the Christmas party early, like let's say I went and I tried to sneak away, I would be in traffic because it's just shit. After 3 p.m., from like three to six, it's crappy drive. It's a crappy drive. There's traffic everywhere. It's bad. Um, on my shifts, when I would leave work at five, it would take me two hours to get home. I wouldn't get home till seven. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm not putting myself through that. Fuck no. So, <laughs> so um, it just, it would, it would just be a, it's just a headache waiting to happen. And I feel like that's like my intuition telling me don't go. And I think that that's why I'm feeling anxious about it. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not doing it. Um, and so, so yeah, but other than that, I go to work today. I work today and I work Thursday. And this is my last full week. Like if you, I guess if you wanna, if you wanna think of three days, working three days is a full week. Cause I work part-time by the way. Um, this is my last full week of work, but not going to work on Wednesday, it's kind of nice. Cause it's like an easy week. Um, I have the long weekend and then next week is freaking Christmas. Um, <laughs> so, Christmas week, um, I, I'm off Tuesday and Wednesday for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I go to work on Thursday and then I go to work on Saturday. So crazy, crazy. <laughs> but it's kind of nice because um, it's just nice. It's like a, a long, it's like a long, long, long weekend. So it's cool. I'm looking forward to that. So then I'll be at work Thursday and Saturday, and then the week after is New Year's week. And New Year's week, I think I'm off the same thing. I think I'm off um, Tuesday and Wednesday, and then I go in on Thursday, and that's my last day. So it's crazy. I'm pretty sure that that's how it works. Yeah, I think that's how it works. So technically, let's do this. Let's do the math. Let's see, I have today, Thursday, because I'm not going in Wednesday. So today, Thursday. Thursday, Saturday, and then Thursday. So I have five days, literally five working days left of work. I think that that's correct. I have a calendar in front of me, so let's just check out the calendar. That's so wild, it goes by so fast. I'm so ready, you guys. I am so ready to start the next phase of my life. Let's see, today is the 17th, so I'm working one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five days. Wild. So that's cool. <laughs> um, so it's nice and I'm really excited and I'm really looking forward to having literally 2020 to do me, to do TCM, to do what I wanna do. It's been a long time coming. So I wanna talk about books. Um, I've been diving in like crazy with um, the 78 Degrees of Wisdom. As you guys know, this is this is the, the tarot book club book that we're reading. Um, so I, last night, I, I went, I read through The Emperor last night and I took some, like a couple notes, but I had a really, a really challenging time with The Emperor. Um, I felt like The Empress was really, really good and The Emperor for some reason was just... I was having a hard time grasping him. So I'm really excited for Friday because Friday I plan on filming my um, discussion of the chapter that we read for this week. And I think I'm gonna spend quite some time discussing the emperor because I, for some reason, for some reason, like I was hitting a block with the emperor and I feel like that has stuff to do with like daddy issues that I've had growing up. <laughs> um, and just, I don't know. Like, I was so surprised because the magician was so easy for me to grasp this time around where when I was first learning the tarot, the magician was the hard part for me. Um, and this time around, it just seems like the emperor just, I wasn't, it wasn't clicking. So I'm really, really, really interested in seeing um, what comes out with the emperor. Like when I really dive into it again, I'm thinking of rereading the chapter, just like that little section of him just to just to see if there was something I was missing. Um, and then after the emperor, I still have, so I have yet to read it, but we have the Hierophant. So 
lucky number, what is he, number five, the Hierophant. I'm really ready. I'm so ready to dive into the Hierophant. I'll probably take my book to work with me today so I can read him because when I started the tarot journey, the Emperor was my most disliked card. Like I could not, I couldn't stand that card. Um, but it also reflected a lot of like the shadow work within me that I had to, to go through and sort through and what I was dealing with at the time of my life. And it made sense why Emperor was such a, a hard one. So I'm kind of feeling that with the Emperor, or no, why the Hierophant was a hard one for me at the time. So I'm kind of feeling that with the Emperor. And um, I want to take some notes on that, like how I feel about it, because I feel like that's coming up for a certain part of my life right now. And I'm ready for it. <laughs> so that'll be something I, I look forward to discussing um, in the upcoming thing. I need to blow my nose and I don't wanna turn the video off, so check out my cats while I blow my nose. <laughs> Sorry guys. Luna, say hi my Luna. You're on video. <laughs> say hi baby girl. Better to blow my nose now than like later when I don't have access to my makeup because I know I'm gonna have to freshen up my nose. <laughs> <clears throat> it's my morning allergies and I didn't take a pill this morning. I took an allergy pill yesterday and I noticed I didn't sneeze and stuff so I'm definitely allergic to my cats. Um, speaking of allergies too, um, so I have that redness above my eye, like above my eyelid, my eczema and Yesterday, my hubby and I went to Rite Aid because I needed to pick up some Excedrin. I had a really, really bad migraine um, yesterday, yesterday morning. Like I woke up with a headache and it just got worse. And it was like, I just felt like my vision was blurred. I felt dizzy. I felt like I was like, I, I literally, I told my husband, I feel like I, my headache went from, it was like literally right in between my eyes. <laughs> my third eye and then it was like I just felt like it traveled all across my head to like the whole back section of my head and I felt like I was wearing a helmet of just headache and it was awful and um, I was not feeling it we were at the, the Dodge dealer because I wanted to do an oil change on the Chrysler on my car and um <laughs> their computers weren't working and they were having all these issues and so we ended up leaving I was like I'm I can't wait two hours like she was saying the wait time was two hours and I was like I can't wait two hours like I told my husband I don't feel good he's like yeah you don't look good <laughs> so we went home and I crashed like he's he went on a cleaning frenzy which is his Taurus his Taurus son so he's a Taurus and he went on a cleaning frenzy and I was like I wish I could help you but I'm not I can't, I can't keep my eyes open. So I knocked out and I think I napped. I think he told me I napped for like not even, maybe not even two hours, but it felt like I slept all night. Like I literally woke up thinking it was the next day. That's how deep of a sleep I was in. And when I woke up, so when I went down for the nap, he, I, he gave me the last two um, Advils that I had because I didn't have any Excedrin. And um, I crashed, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, my headache was pretty much gone. Um, so <laughs> I felt so much better. I just, it, it felt like I had like a little bit of a, of a headache hangover or a migraine hangover. Like I woke up and I could still feel pressure in my head, but like it was significantly better than it was when I was awake. So. <laughs> So the Advil helped and then um, I feel like I'm like choking, like I'm being constricted with this, <laughs> this sweater. Um, so I felt better and then um, we went back to the dealer and I was able to get my oil changed and I really, really wanted to get the oil changed in the car because I drive a lot. So <laughs> I was like, last thing I need is like something to break on that car. Knock on wood, seriously. That was just me, baby girl. <laughs> she gets scared, she thought someone was at the door. But um, the, the car needed an oil change and I had been ignoring the little light for the last literally like two, three weeks. And I was like, I need to get this freaking oil change because we're going, we're driving to the state line. We're driving to, on our way to Vegas, like driving to 
the California slash Nevada state line for my hubby's Christmas party that his work is hosting um, on Saturday. And so I'm like, we need to get that oil changed before we do that drive. So, <laughs> so that's what we did. That was fun. Um, and then what else did we do yesterday? I don't think I did anything else. I don't think I did anything else exciting. Mm. Um, but I did make some sales. So some of you guys booked um, my full size year of you reading. I think um, I think some of you guys saw the videos. The the part it's literally a three part reading because it's so big. <coughs> And so I think some of you guys saw it and then I was like, I haven't advertised my, my sales, so let me do that. So I did that last night. And then um, two of you showed interest. So I got two of you booking it, so I'm excited. So I have your two bookings and then I believe I have like one or two more orders to do um, of other readings that people booked. So I'll be busy this weekend and I have a long weekend to do it, so I'm excited. Um, the goal, my goal is to have all of my orders done and deliver to you guys before Christmas because um, Christmas is I'm not I won't be work, I won't be doing readings on Christmas Day obviously <laughs> um, so yeah it's been a interesting it was an interesting day yesterday with the whole migraine like literally felt like a chunk of my day was like just taken out um, oh that's what we did so then hubby and I we ordered, um, cause I was like, I, I didn't feel like cooking and, and hubby was like, let's just, let's just go get steaks or something. <laughs> he likes Applebee's, like we're an Applebee's kind of a couple. And, um, and so we have like our go-to things that we like to eat. Like we do the two for 20 or 22 or whatever it is. And, um, we're just like that couple, you know, like that couple that goes to the same restaurant, orders the same things off the menu, where the people that work there, they know us, like it's funny. So <laughs> so my hubby was like, let's go to Applebee's and get some steaks and um, and then we can, you know, have dinner and you, do you want, if you want a margarita. So I was thinking about it and then I'm like, I have stuff to make my margarita here at home. Why am I gonna pay like $10 for a little margarita if I could just make it for free here? So. I told my hubby, I was like, he was m mowing the lawn and I told him, let me, um, let me order it to go and then we'll go pick it up and then we'll come home and we watch the premiere, the Star Wars premiere, um, their little blue carpet premiere for the movie that's coming out. I think it comes out on Friday. Um, and so we were literally eating Applebee's watching the Star Wars premiere, like the dorks that we are. So... <laughs> It was so much fun and it was so cute and it was just like perfect um so literally like not sponsored by them but like Applebee's really surprised me with the way that they do their to-go orders I've never bought it to go to go like we always would just go to the restaurant and I was very impressed um so I did the car side pickup which we're gonna sound old but my husband <laughs> my husband didn't even know you could do that and so I did the car side pickup. I already, I prepaid for it and everything. And then I told him, I was like, okay, we're, so we park here and he was going to get down. And I was like, no, let me just text him and tell them we're here. And then they bring the order out to us. And he's like, what? <laughs> he didn't know that, that that's a thing. And so I've never done it, but I, I knew that they do the, the car side pickups because I've done it once for Olive Garden. And so... <laughs> So I send the text and then like five minutes later, the girl comes out, she, you know, and I sign for my, my card purchase. And then she, um, gives us our bags of food and we go home. And when I opened the bags, I was just impressed. Like everything's in its own little, you know, like little box thingy container. And they give you like, they even give you like, cause we ordered the, the steak. So they even give you like a little cup, the cups for the steak sauce. And then they give you you know, like, like I got a big potato. So they gave me the little things for the big potato and he got, <laughs> he got fries and they put the fries in this cute little fry box. It was just so cute. Everything was packaged and it was perfect. And then because we ordered the two for 22 or whatever it was, we got the appetizer. So they, you know, they had like, I got the chips and, and, um, artichoke dip. Cause that's like my favorite. And, um, 
It was either that or the buffalo wings. Like we usually do one or the other and I wasn't in the mood for buffalo wing because I didn't want to get a heartburn. So, <laughs> so we went for the chips and dip. And, um, and so they had like, they give you the little tray with the chips and then they give you like these little containers. One had the salsa and then there was like a bigger one that had the artichoke and I was like, yum. So it was just super, it was super cute the way that they packaged everything. And I was so impressed and I'm like, this is better. Like if they could package the, the margarita to go, I would have been set, but obviously they don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and so I made my margarita here at home and just enjoyed Applebee's to go. It was so cool. It was so much fun. So definitely we plan on doing that again. Um, and then <laughs> I was telling my husband like what would have made it perfect was that like those people at the premiere for the Star Wars movie, they, were, they got to see the Star Wars movie early obviously. But I was like, when will the day come where we can just like, you know, like for pay-per-view, you just pay and you can watch it at home. When will the day come when we can just literally pay-per-view the movies that come out and we don't have to go to the movies? Like, is that a bad thing? Like, to me, I'm like, for someone like me, where I don't want to be around a lot of people, I would rather just watch it at the house. And he was like, yeah, but then that would put movie theaters out of business. And I'm like, well, you could still have the movie theaters, you know, for people who like to, who like to do that or have a discount. But I feel like if you, if you pay extra and you have that option to just watch it out of your house, why not, you know? And then, you know, why not? Like, I would totally do it. And he's like, well, how much would you pay for that? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> like, movie tickets are what, like $20? Well, probably not. They're not $20 each. But you, you, I'm pretty sure you pay a little bit more than 20 bucks for two tickets. Um, I, I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a while since we went to the movies. But um, I don't know. I told him, I don't know. I would pay extra to watch it in the comfort of my own home on my couch. So, um, I don't know when we're going to get to go see the Star Wars movie, um, because literally we'll be at the Christmas party on Saturday. So I told him maybe, um, maybe we could go in the morning, like matinee style, you know, sometime later on in the week, or maybe we'll go on Christmas day because literally my husband has Christmas day off, except he works at night. And my family, everyone's down the hill. We're not going to be down there Christmas Day. So I was like, we could probably go to the movies and everyone else won't be there. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we do. But my, hub, my hubby's been cute, you guys. He's been wearing his Star Wars shirts because he's such a Star Wars fanatic. And like, I am too, but my hubby is more so. And, um, and we just, we, we, we were watching the episodes, like the like when Anakin was a little boy, those episodes. So we, we were watching those movies and then I told him I want to watch, like, I want to watch everything in order. Um, preferably we'll watch everything before we watch this last final one, but I don't know if we're going to get to do that. So <laughs> we'll see if we do. <coughs> but anytime I tell my husband like, oh, I'm in the mood for Star Wars, he gets all excited and is like, oh, which one you want to watch? And he brings out all of his DVDs. He's such a dork. So, um, and then we're watching the, I'm sure everybody else is too, but the Mandalorian show the, on the Disney Plus. So we've been watching that and our friend told us that the newest episode is coming out on Wednesday, I think he said, tomorrow, because um, they don't want to put it out on Friday because the movie's coming out on Friday. So it makes sense. So I told my hubby we get to watch the show early. So that's fun. Looking forward to it. Um, but anyways, it's already 28 minutes in and what time is it? 10 20. So I leave for work in an hour or so I'm gonna upload this to YouTube. It was just a lot of me talking. Oh, that I didn't even talk about it the book So the book I'm currently reading aside from Outlander which I'm still making my way through I'm, I haven't given up. I love it um, but I had to get something else in there. So I turned in all of my books that I had checked out from the library. Like there's just no way I was going to finish them before, before my last day. And I was like, I don't want to forget. I don't want to get like rack up the overdue fines and stuff. So I was like, nope, I'm just going to return them all. I, I made sure to mark them all on my Goodreads account, like which ones I wanted to still read so I could catch it later. Um, but I turned in all my library books. So, <laughs> so I'm literally diving into books that I currently own because I have a shit ton of books in my bookshelf like that I haven't read. So why not? 
So one of them being the you, you, whew, like dust everywhere. Um, so I had this book, I had bought it like months ago. I think I bought it around the time when my hubby was in Sacramento because I was lonely and I wanted something to read. And I never read it, so typical story of my life. And so I'm like, I'm gonna read this because the second season of this show is starting. I think it already started or it's going to start. <clears throat> and I wanna watch it, but I kinda wanna read the book before I watch it. So I'm diving into this one. I just, I literally just started it last night and I, I got through like 20 pages. And it's really good. So I think this one will be a quick read. So I'm putting this in my bag today when I go to work to read. And I'm looking forward to it and I really enjoy it and I like the artist I'm mean, the artist I like the authors um, I have like fuzz everywhere for my sweater I like the author's um, style of writing I really like the way she writes so totally into it and it's it's probably gonna be a fast read okay you guys <laughs> enough of me talking um, I'm going to finish my coffee and my little bread thing and just relax before I gotta head out to work and I think I, I think I'm gonna wear the Christmas sweater today why not so it's gonna be cold too like oh my nose I have like mocos I have to blow my nose again um today up here it's gonna be it's 49 a high of 49 46 or something like that so it's gonna be cold up here um but down below where I work it's gonna be a high of 62 which is still cold so I think I'll be okay in the sweater I could take it off if I get hot. But anyways, um, so Friday, you guys, I will be posting a new video talking about the latest in the Tarot Book Club and um, and all of that. So you could look out for that. And if all goes well, I should have my claws back. I'm planning on getting my nails done um, this week. So I want to get them done before the Christmas party. So I plan on having my claws. I'm going to go with my almond shaped nails that I used to have. So I can't wait for that. And then you'll have, I'll have nails when I do my tarot readings. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I miss them. It's been like two years. Um, okay. So other than that, I will let you go. Love you guys. Talk to you later.